annual high school arts festival, an opportunity for flamingos to express their artistic creativity. It's a hearty mix of the good, the bad, and the greasy. What do you think of my entry, sirs? Hey, great collage, Chair. It's a chronicle of our year together as buds. I call it, To Sirs With Love. It's a real stroll down memory lane. I don't see another entry here that comes close. No kidding. Hey, check this out. It's rather pedestrian, don't you think, Mr. Lewis? Mr. Lewis? Coolness. Life. Nuala? Quiced you. But, sir, I don't understand. It's a Latin chair. Latin for not a problem. Amazing! No one's ever gotten that before. Well, Nuala Quiced you is sort of a philosophy of mine. It shows. I'm Haley Madison. You like art? Parker Lewis, and yes, I like art. You like to ride as well? I love to ride. Safety first, sir. I can't put my finger on it, Frank, but you've captured something special. Very powerful, very thought-provoking. Congratulations. So your parents own this place, huh? Yeah, we call it home. Or actually, we call it the store, but I mean, you know what I mean. I love this movie. Oh, Bull Durham. It's a classic. Do you remember that speech Kevin Costner gives when he lists everything he believes in? Um. Well, I think he left a few things out. Why? What do you believe? I believe in breaking rules. I believe in taking chances. I believe David Lynch is making it up as he goes along. I believe bicycle pants should only be worn by people on bicycles. I believe it's about time you kissed me. Mental note. Send fan letter to Kevin Costner. Sure. He's got his father's charms. And lungs. What can you say about love that hasn't already been said? Your head is spinning, you have no appetite, and you're laughing yourself silly. Last time I felt this good, a man with rubber gloves was pulling one of my teeth out. Haley Madison is unlike any girl I've ever gone out with. First of all, she's gone out with me again. Come on, I'm kidding. What I mean is, she's smart, but she doesn't take herself too seriously. She's pretty, but doesn't act like she knows it. And most of all, she makes me feel like I'm seeing everything for the first time. Where's the big fella? He'll be here, sir. I know it. Where have you guys been? I told you to meet me at my locker. We've been here the whole time, Park. What'd you do, move? Yeah, didn't I tell you? I moved all my stuff up into Haley's locker. Sir, isn't that a little sin to be moving in? Well, when it's right, it's right. Oh, I'm late. I'm supposed to meet her for lunch. I, I gotta go. I can't believe it, sir. Mr. Lewis has left the neighborhood. He's a man in love. Chair, from now on, things are gonna be different. We just have to adjust. I'm gonna miss him, sir. You know, Parker, I look in your eyes and I see me. Coolness. You working on another poem? No, I mean, I could see my reflection in your pupils. I could see mine in yours. I wonder what the guys will think of this. Park, you're so impressionable. How other people see you isn't as important as how you see yourself. I like what I see. 
worked for Pat Riley. We'll start on your clothes next. Park. What's with the wet head? Parker's experimenting with a new look. <laughs> what, geekness? Whoa. <clears throat> Oops, I should have realized she's sitting in Mikey's chair. Jerry and I missed you last night, Park. Again. Oh, sorry. I ended up taking Haley to meet my parents. We are still on for this afternoon, right? Operation Monkey Brain? Mr. Loopman, he keeps this jar full of monkey brains on his desk. Very weird. So, every week we snag a jar and leave it somewhere. The salad bar, the trophy case, or the faculty lounge microwave. This week it's going into a gift basket that Miss Musso sent into the school board. <laughs> I guess everyone needs a hobby. Hey, it's a best bud tradition. Look, Park, just remember, your job is to intercept Musso and keep her busy. Right. Synchronized swatches? I stopped wearing one. He doesn't need a watch. He's got me now. The single-celled organism known as the paramecium is composed of the following parts. The nucleus, which is surrounded by protoplasm. The membrane and tiny frond-like oh, structures oh, called cilia. Oh, oh! Yes. Could you show us just what a paramecium looks like? On the chalkboard, that is. Give me that brain. I've got the other one, Miss Musso. <laughs> Mr. Randall, what do you think happened to Mr. Lewis? Wasn't he supposed to watch out for Miss Musso for us? I'll bet you my 12 string that he got haleyed. I do like what Musso's done to detention. Attention, my little couch potatoes. Welcome to MTV, Musso Television. All Musso, all the time. Sir, I'm going to the thumb. I was born in the add-on that my father built. A zesty yet earthy child, bursting with youthful vitality. I became toilet trained by my first birthday. Park, where were you? Operation Monkey Brain went sour, and we got moosified. Oh, I, I lost track of time. Haley and I got... Haley? Haley? Hi, guys. Sir, you brought an outsider here? It violates our most sacred best bud trust. Don't get carried away, Jer. I don't think Jerry's the one who's getting carried away. What's she doing here? I thought I'd spruce up the place with a little mural. I call it Man Breaking Free of Oppression. Park, it's you. Wait a minute. Who are these guys trying to kill you? Don't worry about it. It's only symbolic. Symbolize this. Paint it black. Hey, come on, guys. I thought you'd be happy about this. We chase girls all the time. I caught one. She's my new bud, and I want to be with her. Besides, where is it etched in stone that there can't be a fourth best bud, or it can't be a girl? Right here, sir. You really should vote. No, no, no. Forget it, Jerry. Looks like Mr. Parker Lewis makes all the big decisions now. After Haley tells him what they are, she goes. She stays, and that's the last word. Great. Now you have the last word, too. As far as I'm concerned, the buds are history. Not a problem. Stand here. Wait a 
that, Mr. Randall. You okay, Park? No loquace to you. Well, they don't seem to be suffering. I guess I'm the only one who's upset. Look how relaxed Parker looks. I guess we're the only ones who are suffering. I'd feel so much better if he just exhibits some sign of decay. You think we should go sit with them, sir? You know, mend the fence. Look at that. They stopped. They won't even come near me. I wonder if I should signal them to come over. You know, mend the fence. Look at him, sir. Flaunting Haley in front of us. Coldness. Look at them. Just turning their backs on you. Coldness. I know this is hard, Parker. But I think you're leaving the butts is the only decision you could make. You know, it's like John Lennon leaving the Beatles. It took Yoko to make him see he'd outgrown them. Can you imagine if he had never met Yoko? For starters, Ringo wouldn't have been stuck doing wine cooler commercials. I think the important thing to remember is that change is painful. Nobody's having fun. <laughs> I'll be your bud. I'm a fun guy. I keep secrets great. And I'll even let you call me Hoss. Uh, can we sleep on it? No. You're, You're in. in. God, you look great. Do you really think so? Yeah, not everyone can wear black. Mental note. Rethink tortured artist look. I said more light. I wanted to have a sepulchral glow. You called Miss Musso? Yes, Frank. You know, now that Park and his buds have broken up, things are very quiet around here, so I'm laying you off. Well, uh, I simply don't need a special obedience helper anymore. But, but what will I do? Uh, I mean, where will I go? Whimpering, Frank. You're starting to sound like my Rottweiler. Now, what's taking you so long here? If you can't light a thumb, I'll find someone who can. Hey, Budge. Want to get some pizzas? We just had lunch, Coop. Well, so did I. Okay, how about some buddy stuff? We'll go outside and do the headbutt. Huh? I can always eat again. Yeah, I'm starved. Mikey, you're back. Oh, I just came to clean out my stuff so you and Haley could have the hangout all to yourself. That's funny. I was going to leave it for you guys. Haley's idea. Oh, well, of course it was. I mean, it's not like you're able to make decisions on your own anymore. I got all my stuff. I'm afraid it's not that easy for me, sir. <sighs> Don't worry, Mr. Randall. I'll rent a van. Chair, your collage. I didn't know you won. First place in the photography division. X, sir. Coolness. Why didn't you say something? Well, after what's happened the last couple of days, it just didn't seem, well, you know. <laughs> you think this is funny? No, no. I was just looking at a picture of you and me at the zoo pulling Jer out of the carnivore pit. Those were the days. <laughs> you wouldn't think a softball could fit in a guy's mouth. Ah, oh, talk about good times. Great times. Listen, I'm due to meet Haley. I'll come back when you're done. So I go to meet Haley and she's not there. What gives with her? Mental note, have first argument. What the? Mikey and Jerry snag Musso's thumb? Lemmer will go ballistic. These guys can't pull a decent prank without me. 
I gotta get this back. Come on, Lewis. I know you're out there somewhere. Come to Daddy. Checkmate. Reach, Lewis. I know you have my sculpture. I want it back. I don't have it. We'll see. I know you stole it, Lewis. I have an eyewitness that says you did. Miss Musso will see to it that you suffer if it is not in its proper place when she returns. Operation Thumb Return, Plan B. If I don't get this back, we're all dead meat. Piece of cake. <gasps> Uh-oh, busted. I never thought I'd go like this. Guys. How'd you do this? What happened, sir? Uh, I'm all thumbs. Proud to say, synchronized swatches. What's going on here, Frank? Your sculpture, Miss Musso. It's missing. Lewis stole it. Well, Lemmer, now who has the upper hand? I don't understand. It, it, it was gone. An informant told me Lewis was the perpetrator. And did this informant appear to you in a dream? No, Miss Musso. I, I assure you, it was reliable information. It came from that, that girl that Parker Lewis has been fraternizing with, you know. Haley Madison. Haley told me quite clearly Parker Lewis stole it. Haley? Look, uh, Frank, I know you've been trying to impress me. If it's that important to you, I'll let you come back to work for me as my special obedience helper. Oh, thank you, Miss Musso. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Sir, what reason would Haley have to inform on you? Felt good for you three to be together again, huh? Yeah. I suppose that's why you planted the thumb sculpture in the hangout and squealed the lemur. You knew the buds would come together in a crisis. You know, I wanted to make sure you guys could hang together before I broke up with you. Look, it was because of Mikey and Jerry. Remember when I said those guys were holding you back? Well, I was wrong. They give you all the room you need to grow. Which is more than I did. I smothered you. The way I do with every guy I really like. I try and make him be what I want him to be. Look, we don't have to break up. We can always... I have the same conversation in three months because that's what would happen. Because I've been here before. And I don't want to do it again. Not to you. Listen, we're bound to see each other in the halls now and then. So do me a favor, okay? When you see me, don't look the other way and pretend like you didn't. I hate it when guys do that. You look wise to you. Fundamental 
Frozen yogurt with gummy bears. The best thing to cure a broken heart. Or low blood sugar. Sir. Thanks, guys. The three best buds. Reunited. We need to talk about this buds thing. I want out. Why? I'm not ready for a relationship. Larry, a relationship is a beautiful thing. What's wrong? Is it having to be there for the other guy? Is it not having enough time for yourself? No. Sharing lunch. I haven't been in love enough to know how long, if ever, it's going to take me to get over losing Haley. It might be a week or a year or more, but however long it takes and however much it hurts, I'm lucky to have best buds to get me through. Aquarium, where do you put your fish? In my orange sports bottle. Mr. Randall? Mr. Phillips? Hello? 